Hi, welcome to AutoCAD 2024 video tutorial. I want to do that flywheel, which I did in almost all the other programs before. I've made a drawing, so let's take a look at that drawing. Here it is, and you could make a screenshot and then follow this exercise step by step, if you want. So, let's have fun with AutoCAD. Okay, let's start with a circle at 0, 0. And the diameter should be 230. Then I need a line which starts at the center here. Length might be 150. And the angle, that's the more important one, should be minus 50 degrees. Then I want to offset that line by 19 millimeter. So let's go for an offset of 19 millimeter in that direction. And then I want to mirror that offset line. So go for the mirror command, select the line, right click, and the symmetry line would be this one here. No. Now I can delete that line and I can trim the rest. So go for trim. Make sure you're uh, in the standard mode. Right click. This should be removed. That should be removed. This should be removed. So do it like that. And maybe like this. Great. Now I want to have a polyline. I have two arcs. Why? Because my del object variable is set to zero. So there's another arc. Maybe there's still another one. This happens. Okay. Now I can join those. Right click and now that's a polyline. And I want to make an extrude, so go for an extrude, select that polyline, right click, and the height should be 40 millimeter. Let's move it to a different layer, and then move it in that direction by 20 millimeter. Nice. Now let's go for a shell. A solid cover shell. Usually I would do the fillets before the shell, but it's AutoCAD. So that's the solid, and I want to remove this face and of course the opposite one, that one here. Right click, enter, and the thickness should be 15 millimeter. And enter, enter. Great. Now I want to go for a cylinder. That cylinder should be at zero, 0, The radius should be 20. And the height should be 60. Now I want to move this in that direction by 30 millimeter. And let's put it also onto the same layer here, the solid plus layer. Great. I need another solid here. I could do it with a box or with a line and extrude and thicken. So I want to go for a line. So let's take a look from the top. Go for a line which starts at zero, 0 and is maybe 105 millimeter long. That should do. Now let's make a surface extrude. Right click, enter, and make it 40 millimeter. Then move it down by, yeah, that's okay by 20 millimeter. 
Yes. Now let's go for a thicken. Solid thicken. I want to thicken this surface. Yes. Right click. And the thickness should be 5 mm. Then I could try to thicken it once more. So that surface again. Right click by minus 5 mm. Yes. Now let's put those two solids, this solid and that solid here, onto the solid plus layer. Great. And now I can make a union. So I want to make a union between these solids. Yeah. And now I could do my fillets. So let's go for a radius of 25 first on this edge here and that edge. Enter, enter. And now the 10 millimeter one. So go for another fillet. Radius should be 10 millimeter, and I want to have fillets here. On the other side, here, also here, and of course, yeah. Let's confirm these and do it like this. Radius stays 10 millimeter. This edge and that one. Also, this one here. Let's zoom in a little bit. Turn it around. That edge here. Uh, now I've got it. This one here. Enter, enter, and two more. One here and one over there. Enter, enter. And I've got all the fillets. Now I want to make another extrude with that sketch here. So, go for an extrude, select that polyline, right click, and the height should be 20. Like that. Select it and move it down by 10 millimeter. Bring it onto the correct layer. That would be this one. And now add the fillets, or yeah, let's do the fillets. That would be 25 on this edge and that edge. Enter, enter, and now. Let's do another union and unite those two solids. Great. Okay, maybe hide that solid and I think I could delete this. I don't need it anymore. And now go for top view and switch to 2D wireframe. Why not? I need a circle at zero, 00 and the diameter should be 25. 25, okay. Another circle, 
same center and that diameter should be mm, no I could do it in a different way I want to go for lines so line starts here and length could be 15 and the angle should be 12.5 yeah 12.5 like that and then I need the same line in that direction maybe 15 again but the angle should be minus 12.5 then I need two more circles right there at the intersection and that radius should be 2.5 and another one at this no yeah again same radius then let's go for another circle starting here at the center and going up to this point here and another one starting at the center and going up to this point here now let's go for a trim and all these elements should be like this yes right click and then remove these here and also everything inside go for erase this here and this one and that one yeah enter and make this a polyline so let's go for join i want to join these and that one and these here like that enter and now i can make an extrude so I want to extrude that polyline here, right click, enter, and it should be at least 60 millimeter height. So let's go for 60, move it 30 down. Where's, I don't want to pull it, I want to move it. So not visible because I'm in 2D wireframe mode so let's switch to 3D wireframe mode and then it should be here yeah there you go select that arrow and move it in that direction 30 millimeters put it onto the solid minus layer yeah view from top let's make a circular pattern so go to polar ray i want to pattern this one here right click the center would be zero zero and it should not be associative and i want to have six yeah that's okay let's confirm this and now i can subtract those from the hidden solid so let's bring back that solid and now I can make a boolean operation go for subtract I want to subtract from this one here right click those six or in my case seven because my dull object variable is set to zero select this solid and that solid here this should be selected as well 
yeah right click and there might be another one yes and I can delete this one this looks okay now let's hide all so go for hide objects I want to hide them all and these here as well okay I need circles and that diameter it should be at zero zero and the radius would be 70 like this then I need again lines starting at the center length maybe 70 that would do and angle should be uh, zero not zero but angle should be 15 degrees repeat that line command again 70 length and minus 15 the angle let's put circles right at those endpoints here and radius would be 10 repeat that command on this side again 10 now I need another circle from the center up to this point here and another one from the center up to this point here then I could already trim it a little bit maybe depends I need another circle and this one would sit at distance is 20 so it would sit, sit at 50 so I need another circle which sits at 50 column 0 and again has a radius of 10 yep and now I need fillets here or I could do it with tangent tangent radius yeah might be a good idea first I could trim right click so this should be removed of course I don't need those lines anymore and yeah so let's add two more circles go for tangent tangent radius so make sure this one here and that one here move the mouse up there and the radius would be five millimeter repeat that command again go for tangent tangent radius select this one here select that one here and move your mouse in this direction and go for five millimeter as well now i want to trim let's take a look here so that could be removed that part this could be removed and those two as well now let's go for trim select them all right click and now i want to remove this that one this one that one and this one 
enter. This should be a polyline, so let's go for join. Select them all, right click. Now oh, that's a polyline, great. And now I can do another extrude. Extrude, select that polyline, right click, enter, and make it at least 20. Yeah. Now I want to move that one here by 10 millimeter in this direction here. Yeah, looks okay. And put it onto a different layer, onto the solid minus layer. I need three more instances. I can't do it with a polar array because I can't do variable angles. So I could do an array with only two instances, that would be an idea, or I do it with rotation and copy. Doesn't really matter. So maybe first select that solid here, right click, the center would be zero, zero, and I need only two instances here, and the angle in between should be 45 degrees, yes, 45 degrees, not 45, 54 degrees, 54, like that, and close that array. And now I could mirror those two. Yeah, let's mirror them. So go for the 3D mirror command. I want to mirror this one and that one. Right click with that plane here. So I go for this endpoint, that endpoint, and this endpoint here. like that. Nope. Nice. Let's bring back our solid. Maybe hide and switch. So go for this layer and hide those sketches. And now make a subtraction. So I want to remove from this one, right click, this one here, that one, this one, and that one, right click. Maybe switch to shaded with edges. Yeah, and again, this is one more than I need. And that's because of my Dell object variable set to zero. And I can delete this one. Yeah. And I think I'm done. So I hope this was helpful. Hope you liked it. If you did like it, please give it a like or leave a comment. If you want to see more, please give it a like or leave a comment. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel. That would really help. You could follow me also on GrabCat, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and many more. Thanks for watching. See you to the next one. Bye bye.